Hey there, welcome back to the Genesis Cloud Agent Training Course. In this module, we will discuss the Interaction Workspace. Let's get started. In this module, we will get into the Interaction Workspace more in depth when it comes to handling multiple interactions simultaneously, as well as using customer history and the customer journey. Before getting into how multiple interactions are viewed and handled, I think it is important to show you what settings are used to determine how many interactions you could be assigned at once. As an agent, you may not have access to view this page. In the Utilization view, Agent Utilization indicates the maximum number of concurrent interactions that Genesis Cloud ACD can assign to an agent. Interactions include voice, chats, emails, messages, and callbacks. By default, an agent can handle at one time. One call up to four chats, one email, one message, one callback. When the block calls went on a non-ACD call, excludes transfers is checked. It prevents agents from being alerted for any incoming ACD interactions when they are currently involved in a non-ACD interaction. And they can be interrupted by, this is for the administrator to add what can interrupt the media type. For example, if you get an email, you can also receive a voice, callback, or chat interaction. In previous modules, we reviewed the Agent Interactions workspace and walked through the various options, such as transfer, blind transfer, canned responses, etc. We're going to take a look how multiple interactions look and how to handle them. As you can see, this agent is handling a voice, email, Facebook, and web messaging interaction all at the same time. Since you already know how to respond to each individual interaction, that doesn't change when multiple interactions are assigned to you. With the voice interaction, that would take priority as it has an active customer that you are talking with. As you complete the voice interaction, you can toggle between the interactions, providing information and answering questions as the customers chat or respond. On the left side, the interactions list or roster, new and current interactions appear. Each interaction appears separately in the list. If an external contact has multiple interactions on different channels, Genesis Cloud groups that external contacts interactions together. To work with an interaction, select its card from the interactions list. To track your current interactions, use the interactions list. Timers and status icons indicate the type of interaction, its status active or after call work, and the duration of the interaction status. An important thing to remember. To build the interaction history for a contact and organization, Remember to always link the contact that is associated with an interaction. To build the interaction history, click the profile icon and search for the person. If no contact populates, you can create contact. If a contact does populate, you can click select contact and it will link the separate interactions together. As you can see, it groups all the interactions that you have added to the contact. All future interactions will also come through as a group if they open multiple channels at once. To toggle between interactions, simply click the interaction type you would like to move to. Now that we have walked through how to handle multiple interactions simultaneously and searched for and tied a contact to those interactions, let's take a look. View the full contact information for a contact, notes associated with a contact in the dates, notes, and wrap-up codes of previous interactions associated with a contact. From this full contact record, you can also check that the contact record matches the person in the interaction so Genesis Cloud can link the interaction with the contact. To edit the contact during an interaction, click the three vertical dots and click Edit Contact. Update the information that needs to be updated and click Save. To add notes to a contact, click the Notes tab. Click Add Note and enter the note you would like to make about the contact. Remember not to enter any personal information. Click Save. Now, let's take a look at how you are able to use the customer history to give a more personalized experience. When an agent links an external contact during an interaction, Genesis Cloud adds a record of that interaction to that contact's interaction history. The interaction history for a contact shows all the interactions that the contact has participated in, including callbacks, chat, email, message, and phone interactions. You can view an external contact's interaction history from a current interaction or through external contacts. From the Profile tab in the Interactions panel, click the arrow beside the external contact's name. The contact's full details open to the right of the Interactions panel, 
Previous interactions appear in the Interactions section. To filter interactions by type direction or survey, click the filter icon. To view older interactions in the Interactions list, use the date range selector arrows. To see the full interaction detail view, click the row of the interaction that you want. As you can see, the more interactions a customer has with an agent and the more notes agents enter for the contact, the more personalized you can make the interactions for that customer. Next, let's take a look at the customer journey and how that is helpful for the customer experience. From an interactions detail page, agents can use the customer journey tab to view customer journey information during a phone call or web message interaction with a customer. Here you will see a list of the current and historical activity in interaction journey cards. To view an interactions agent and queue details, click the interaction. The journey card displays the information at the bottom. If an interaction was transferred between different queues and agents, details of the last queue and agent are displayed. For active web messaging interactions, Live appears in the first column with a green status icon. After 45 seconds of an activity, the icon changes to yellow. After one minute of an activity, the interaction shows as inactive. It remains inactive unless the customer triggers another web event, at which point the interaction shows as live again. For active inbound and outbound call interactions, live appears in the first column with a green status icon. When you wrap up the call, the interaction shows as inactive. For past interactions, the date the interaction occurred appears in the first column. To recap, this module went more in depth about the interaction workspace. We've seen how to handle and manage multiple interactions simultaneously. We were also able to see how the customer history and journey could personalize our customers' future interactions. As with previous modules, this module has several hands-on exercises as well as a quiz to help you apply what was learned in this module. Thank you for completing Module 4. In Module 5, we will discuss quality management. See you there.